I think, and along with many um, physicists, uh, I, or most physicists, I think, who've looked at this, uh, solar radiation management uh, is a very dangerous uh, technology. And it, it, in many ways, it would itself constitute dangerous interference with the climate system. So I think these sort of experiments um, translated into policy are, are deeply unwise and deeply unhelpful. Um, I think that there's very substantial uncertainties about the effects of solar radiation management technologies. We don't understand their impacts at large scale on the monsoons, on precipitation, rainfall regimes. And what we do understand about it tells us that we need to be profoundly concerned that these uh, technologies could provoke really major damages in different regions. Um, what I'm also concerned about is the way in which um, this solar radiation management technology as a branch of geoengineering is being aggressively pushed now. And it's, it's a real um, puzzle to me and I think a real, a real shame and a discredit to those pushing this that they are at the very moment in which we are seeing fundamental changes beginning to happen in the energy system out there in their pamphlets, brooches, lectures and talks claiming that mitigation has failed and therefore we need to look at these uh, very dangerous technological approaches. And I think that's a serious uh, mistake and error.